So what I'd like to do is just uh, take you through the evolutionary track that gets us to where we are, because we're doing something um, more in the area of what you might call governance rather than government. Uh, so you have absolutely nothing to do with what you currently understand as the institutions that are government. So about five, seven years ago, something neat happened that people took interest in, this thing called Bitcoin. And some smarty pants looked at it and said, no, no, this isn't about money. It's about something called the blockchain. So then some more smart people looked at it and said, oh, no, no, it's not about just the blockchain. It's about smart contracts. Well, the next thing that happened after that was this interesting concept called the DCO. If you haven't heard about it, you probably will start hearing about it more and more, and this would be your first introduction. So the question is, what is this idea of a decentralized collaborative organization? Well, we know of some sorts of things that are collaborative organizations, like typical uh, open source projects that have lots of different people who organize to deliver something of value without any sort of coherent organization around them. Uh, more broadly, we obviously see our current marketplace is dominated by entities that have vast numbers of people who do value creation without having uh, a large hierarchy controlling them. But what does a decentralized collaborative organization look like? What does this really mean? What's the holy grail of being able to push decentralization past just the tech stack into the actual organizational modality? That's the problem that we uh, identified and been trying to solve. So for about 10,000 years, human beings have solved collective action problems at scale using old tech, right, for some flavor of a hierarchy. And the, the new hotness is trying to find some way to actually solve at scale collective action problems, but in a decentralized fashion. And this means combining market mechanisms, social norms, and architecture. And specifically, we're focusing on the architectural element. So decentralized governance systems for large-scale, free, and systemic collaboration. And this is very, very fundamental, and it's novel in the world. If we pull it off, it will change things in a way that's very hard to predict. Oddly enough, we're at the concrete stage. We've actually found three things that matter that we're going to be using to try to implement uh, a solution to the problem. Uh, technology that handles token distribution, crypto tokens, a reputation system, and an economic model to perhaps actually solve this problem. Let me jump very quickly to the piece of it. So the, bo the basic model is this. Uh, people can choose to contribute value, arbitrarily defined, like tweets or software or ideas to some system. People who are in the system evaluate those contributions. That's the key element. Then what our system does is it identifies the coherence or the shared value communities of the evaluators, uses that to generate and reward tokens to the contributors based upon the degree to which they've been considered valuable by the community, and then generate reputation to the people who are doing the evaluation. The feedback loops might generate self-organized systems. If that's interesting, you can ask me more later. 